Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in. <clears throat> I have a Stitch Fix. They got this one out to me so quick because I was not happy with the last box. So, <clears throat> I'm going to do it old fashioned. I'm going to sit down and show you everything and then I'll come back later and do the try on. This is a uh, women, men, and kids clothing box, accessories, all that good stuff. There is a $20 styling fee per box. Uh, it's a use or, use, use or lose the $20. If you keep one item from your box, it's a $20 credit. If you send all five items back, it becomes a styling fee, and then you lose the $20. Buy what you love, send back what you don't. Let me see if I can. I was going to do it the other way, so I took everything out of the paper, and then I'm like, no, I don't have time. So you do get a USPS return envelope to return back what you don't love. You have three days to decide. You can extend that on the website um, to make it more convenient for you to return it. Uh, keep all five items, receive a 25% discount. You do check out online, like I said. Give as much information as you can on the positives and the negatives of what you're keeping and what you're sending back. They offer a style shuffle every 24 hours on their website. Helps guide the algorithm into uh, choosing items for your box. I do have the style pass, $49 a year. It just renewed in June, so I pay $49. I have a $49 credit automatically um, that I could use over the next several boxes, and then I don't pay the $20 styling fee each box I get. You do get an envelope here card says oh hello and this is going to be style note and then your items with a little style you know su oops, suggestions there goes everything hitting the floor I don't know what it is with me then you get this which is the invoice I'm just going to do a quick quick to make sure this is 66 because you know yes 66 I didn't want to look at the prices so I will put this aside also until I do the actual try on and stuff like that so the first item which I you do get a preview by the way of your box so if you don't like anything that they've chosen for you you don't select anything and then they'll repick you do get a second preview then so where's their tag where's their tag Oh, here it is. First item is from O'Neill, the Vita T Blue Medium. Oh, let me put this down here so I have a little bit more room here. So this is the t-shirt. It's very boxy, a scoop neck, short sleeves. It says uh, O'Neill on the front. Let's get the tag out of the way. Cute, a little bit maybe cropped. But maybe not for me since I'm shorter. And then here's the back. Beautiful like sunset type thing with O'Neill on it. I'm not generally, a, I like the color, a fan of graphic tees. But this might be good with shorts for the summer. So let's fold that up nice. The next item is from the North Face Short Sleeve Half Dome Tri Blend Tee in green. A medium. And this will probably be a note or I would I think last time I got a North Face top I had exchanger for a large just for my comfort level so this is the shirt typical you know tea nothing you know this is going to be pricey because it is the North Face but I don't mind the color especially for summer uh, we'll see on that that looks like all the tops are in a row which is nice this is from 41 Hawthorne uh, Tiffany Tulip Sleep Blouse Green Medium Petite. And this is a true blouse, right? No. Yes, it's not the t-shirt back. It's a true blouse, green with blue and um, white dots. A little bit of scalloping edges around the neckline. Here's your tulip sleeve. This is not bad. What is it? V-neck, a V-neck. Here's the back, and this is, let me just make sure I'm holding it properly. Yes. Are we even? Yeah, even even hemline. And I'll show you when we try it on. It is an even hemline. I'm just not holding it right. Uh, rounded. Rounded hemline. Let's hold that nicely. That's not bad either. I don't know if I would wear that. Uh, I might. You never know. And then it looks like we have two pairs of bottoms. Let's see the first one. 
is cut from the cloth Catherine boyfriend short indigo size 10 these are like very faded I don't have a pair of jeans from cut from the cloth very nice I wish these were darker but I don't mind the faded I guess there's a there is a cuff and these are a sewn cuff if I really needed to I could bring that down I just would seam rip it these are not bad right here I don't know sometimes when it's a boyfriend cut I need an eight but these are not horrible whatsoever no real distressing which is fine so that's that what are you oh they're long Liverpool nice these are going to be expensive Sienna Bermuda short black size 10 oh these are a pull-on why do they do that I don't like that see these are a pull-on you know nice pockets these are Bermuda length these are black so these are longer which might be okay for me I don't know if I could cuff them if I think they're too long but that's not a bad look I mean could I cuff them up if I really wanted to let me just see if I could get a nice turn on them and see I only have one pair of black shorts rest are denim I mean I guess I could put a nice little cuff on that if I wanted to if I don't love the length that does take you know a couple inches off so I'll try it on that way um fake pocket in the back fake pockets right there right there fake totally let me just say they're not are they not fake why do they have all that material on there I don't know if you could open them there are pockets in there I guess you could open them I would not I would leave them sealed but I like the side pockets so we'll see on that these are going to be pricey though I can guarantee you that Liverpool and um, cut from the cloth are pricey but if they're nice I mean this would be a nice dressier I'm sure because of the black but it'll be a few hours for uh, for me, but just a second for you, and I'll be back with the try on. I have the first top on. This is from Forty One Hawthorne Tiffany Tulip Sleeve Blouse in green, medium, petite, fifty eight dollars. Wow! And I have a different stylist, Kendall. I don't know why they switched. Honestly, maybe because I really wasn't thrilled with the last box, and they just switched. This. Um, I like the neck, the little ruffled edges. The V is very, you know, flattering. I love the tulip sleeve. This one actually lays beautifully. Sometimes they want to open all the time. I think the length, hopefully you can see the full length. It's like right a little bit past the top of my, where my legs start, which is not bad. You can see the rounded hemline. Here's the back. You know, there's plenty of room, nothing clingy whatsoever i actually and with denim with white i have white denim i have white capris white shorts i do have white jeans but i don't wear them in the summer i start to wear them like september-ish and like i don't know why i have white jeans because I, I won't wear them um would look great with white uh denim it looks fine it would look nice with the black if i like these black shorts it's a little pricey um but i do like it i like this a lot so the next one is going to be this one and this one I, I'm not going to try on because I know this is going to be too tight and I just I don't mind the color per se the North Face t-shirt I do have a long sleeve North Face t-shirt that I never even had I didn't wear in the in the cooler months so I just tend not to pull for an actual t-shirt like this um and this would have to be this is a medium this would have to be a large just for my comfort level yeah um because this is going to be too snug so or should i try it on no i'm not going to try it on because i know i'm not keeping this at all um cute if you like this um yeah it's just it's not me so this is going to go back you know what i can't do that i'm going to try it on for you i always promise to try everything on good bad or indifferent let me try this on I had to try it on there was no way I could not try a top on the North Face short sleeve half dome what is this called tri blend tea green medium $30 that's you know still a lot it is too snug it's too snug in the bust it's good here it's snug in here shows the you know the belly 
length is, is fairly good and it shows every little lump and bump uh, just because it's too fitted. This would have to be a large. I don't know. I kind of like the color, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to keep this. The next one here, I'm excited to try this one on. So let's go. This is the O'Neill Vita T. Let's try this one on. So I have on the O'Neill Vita T Blue Medium $28. That's not horrible. This is perfect. I mean, I know it's a little boxy. It is roomy. Um, here's the back. Like, it's the perfect length for me with shorts. Leggings? No. I would want it slightly longer, but I wouldn't wear this with leggings in the in the winter. Um, I, I like this a lot. And I'm not a graphic tee. Like, I don't generally care for all this design. Like, I don't mind this. I wish that wasn't on the back, but I also don't see the back. But this is perfect. I do like this. Let me uh, come back and I'll take my shorts off and we'll try the cut from the cloth shorts on. I have the cut from the cloth Catherine boyfriend short indigo size 10. These are, I mean, indigo is a darker blue. So these are like really washed out. $69. They are expensive. Cut from the cloth is um expensive jeans and shorts just like Liverpool I like the fit these probably I mean they're fine as a as a 10 but they are loose um the jeans I had on today are jag they're an eight and I've been buying eights they fit um they fit me better but these are fine the length is actually not bad and the cuff is sewn in like this is a little messed up it would have to just put some heat on it here's the back I mean, they are cute shorts, and I left the t-shirt on with them, This because this is my preferred length t-shirt with shorts. Like, away from, it just it elongates your bottom half when you're short. I like these. I don't know if I love the price. And full pocket, like my hand is all the way in. These are really nice, though. And I don't own anything this light, because I generally stay away from the light bottoms. And then the last one is going to be the Liverpool... Uh, like pull on Bermuda short. Let's see what I think of these. I have on the Liverpool Sienna Bermuda short. Black size 10, $59. They, they are pricey for sure. So this leg here, I did not um, cuff. They're like mid kneecap for me. Uh, a little too long that way, but still stylish. This leg, which is my left right here, I cuff so they're above my knee. Like this much better than I do the longer length, but still very nice. So soft and buttery. Um, I love the pockets. Has a little coin pocket, um, but I love the, the pockets. Here's the back. So these are, um, you know, you would, could open them because they're, you know, just sewn. I would leave them sewn shut. Nice fit. Um, these are a little loose, but I don't mind that because then you don't get muffin top because it's not squeezing everything up. Um, I do like them. I just don't, once again, don't love the price point, but I did just pay $50 for a pair of um, Jag shorts. I don't know. I have one pair of black shorts and they were cutoffs that I did from last year from a pair of like Lee Riders or something like that. I don't know if I need another black, but these are so comfortable. And when I say buttery soft, they're not denim material, um, but they kind of feel like it. They're just like almost like a a buttery, buttery touch to your hand. They're so nice. I love the pockets. And I do think you could dress these up if you needed to, um, you know, wear them every day. They are comfortable. And if they're a little looser in the waist, that doesn't bother me because once again, then it doesn't like squeeze everything upward and give you that overhang. So I don't have that. Um, still looks cute with this shirt and it would look cute with any of the other shirts. I have plenty of, of tops. So I'm unsure on a lot of things in this box. So I'll be right back with my final thoughts. All right, so let's do my final thoughts. Read the stylist note. I, like I said, I don't understand why the stylist switched, but Kendall did better than the other person did. I don't even remember what her name was. So let's just do box numbers first. 
Stylist pick subtotal $244. That's a little bit expensive for me. File discount of 25%. I would save $61. Um, I do have, still have a $15 credit left. So this entire box, if I kept all five items, would be $168. But considering I have $70 um, cut from the cloth shorts and $60 Liverpool shorts, right? And then, you know, so... These, I'm um, really, I'm unsure of. Could this box be a five for five? Absolutely. I like both of these. I don't own anything super light denim because I usually go for like this tone or darker. And I really do love the black Bermuda, but I would cuff them and I could always put a stitch over here and keep them cuffed so that they don't come uncuffed. And I think I would get lots of wear out of them. I, but the price is what's going to hold me back. But if I keep everything, it's only $168, so this might be a bargain box for me. I love this t-shirt. I really do. Comfy, comfy, comfy. I actually really like this blouse, too. And I could get away with this in the fall and just put a navy or like a white cardigan on. This is what's going to hold me up for five for five. If I keep everything, this I will exchange, which would still be a five for five and you would still get the discount. I would exchange this for a large if it's available. Uh, the medium just is a little too snug for me and I wouldn't, I wouldn't sleep in it because I don't like anything up against my throat. I wear a V-neck like sleep shirt or if it's like a scoop neck, it has to be below my collarbone. I don't like anything up against my throat. So I couldn't sleep in it this would have to be exchanged for a large in order for me to wear it. But this is a very possible five for five box. So Kendall, good job. Your first box for me, I understand the medium, but when it's North Face t-shirts or any true traditional t-shirt, it always needs to be a large. I have stated that in the past. I will let her know, since she's never styled a box for me, that when it's this style of a t-shirt, it needs to go up to a large. Now, this other blue one, if that was a large, that would be too big. That's a medium, um, which is fine. But North Face, for sure, has to go up to a large. And I think, because I know I did that with the other shirt. And sometimes a t-shirt automatically up to a large, because I'm going to wash and dry it. It's going to shrink a little. I would never be able to wear that. And I wouldn't wear it in the size that it is. So I have not had a five for five. And I can't tell you how long. So this very well could be. I would love to know your thoughts on all five pieces. Should I exchange this? I would wear that. I don't mind the color. It's a great color for the spring. I mean, spring and summer. And I would wear it again next year. I would just, you know, put it away. But I love everything else. And I know the price of Liverpool and Cut From The Cloth. They are expensive. I have looked for them on Nordstrom Rack. A lot of times they're not on sale, or if they are, it's all the size twos left, which I am not. Um, and slightly loose in the waist, but I can deal with that if they get too loose. I have belts. I have my, uh, three Michael Kors belts that I rarely wear because I don't find I always need to. Um, that I could put a belt on. These I would have for years and years to come. The shorts. If I, you know, if I gained weight, which I should not, but you know, anything's possible. But if I lost more weight, I could just put a belt on and they'd be fine. Um, so $168 for these items, which are pricey. Like I said, $69 from the cut from the cloth shorts, $59 for the black Liverpool Bermuda shorts, and then the 41 Hawthorne blouse is $58. The only affordables are the two t-shirts, $30 and $28. So, I mean, I think I'm getting a good deal on this for sure. I'll wait to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.